Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Kama. We back with another video. Um, real quick, um, I know there's a couple of slights, um, including PFF, and, um, ESPN has been dropping the, um, top wide receiver rankings list with this 20, et cetera, whatever the case may be. Um, 10, 20, it um, don't matter. Um, uh, I see a couple people, uh, excuse me, I see a couple people reacting to them, um, which is crazy because I did a um, video a little bit earlier about um, um, the top wide receiver trios in the league. And um, I thought that was interesting. Um, I seen somebody make a video about us not having a wide receiver listed in the top 20. I mean, when I get into people lists, right, I don't um, take it literally, right? Like, like I don't care. Your list is your list, but I just think at this, since Cooper's been with the Cowboys, like, in my opinion, I feel like if you don't, if you're not mentioning him in the top 20, that's a, it's a bit of a reach to me because he's been highly regarded as one of the top three to top five route runners in this game. And he's been a steady number one wide receiver in this game for his whole career. So um, all his career, except for one, when he missed games due to injury, he's been a thousand yard receiver. So I don't, I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? But it's like people have their personal preference. So like, I don't really get too deep into it, but um, there's just certain things on there I've seen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that's gonna be a separate video, so that's why I don't really touch too deep into it. You know what I'm saying? So certain things on the list that I've seen that's a little blasphemous for me. Um, certain people on the list that I've seen are oh, already. That's a little crazy for me, but anyway, um, I digress. So real quick, right? I want to ask everybody a question. I'm quite sure everybody done watched last year's Super Bowl with Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady. You know what I mean? We seen what happens with Pat Mahomes' line. They wasn't able to block for him. There's a bunch of backups in there. He was missing maybe three starters or something of that nature. I might be wrong. I don't know. I know it was a no, it was more than like three fourths of the line he was missing. Something of that nature. They revamped the whole line. What I want to ask is is because it's Dak Prescott that we not give credit? Because, and follow me, right? I know you might think, yo, he a Cowboys fan. Right? He was popping, talking his talk, right? But listen, if any other quarterback, Came out last year with the line that Dak Prescott had and was on record pace to breaking records. They had the most 400 yard games in one season in NFL history. I might be wrong, but I think it's in NFL history. And was broke his leg in week five. If that same fate went to Patrick Mahomes, to Sean Watson, Aaron Rodgers, any of the people, what would we be saying going into this year? I'm just asking. Would it be so much criticism or would it be like the Chiefs going straight to the Super Bowl because Pat Mahomes on the record breaking pace? So uh, Packers going to the Super Bowl because the last time we seen Aaron Rodgers, he was unstoppable. I'm just asking because. I don't feel like Dak get that respect. He get that, re he like, when we talk about Dak, we like to downgrade him to the weapons he got. And, but if we talk about Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, or anybody, I say those two names because I hold them at a very high regard. You know what I'm saying? We don't seem to m mention who they was throwing the ball to or who they coach is or what scheme they was in or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But when Dak, we want to mention everything that was around him and 
the weapons and all that. But by the way, CD Lamb is on his second year. Gallup, this is fourth year. Uh, we did, what's Coop going on? His third or fourth year with Dallas? But I think we forget that three fourths of the supporting cast that that came in with when we were 13 and 3. Most of them not even in the league no more. Terrence Williams was his number two wide receiver when we were 13 and 3. But we sweep down under the rug because we sweep down under the rug because we had revisionist history. You know what I'm saying? Even that year, Cole Beasley was the lead and receiver on the team. You know what I'm saying? But people sweep down the rug, and it's just, I think I think we do dis disservice to who we want to do a disservice to, but in my opinion, I feel like if Dak had that same type of season, with that same offensive line and things that was happening, we would be praising anybody that we liked. That's just my opinion. Yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Always be like and subscribe, share. I appreciate everything. If you ever watch the video, I appreciate it. If you dislike the video, I appreciate it. Or right, it's your boy Tom. Yeah.